All right, everybody, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. Today we've got this massive one-third scale Batman Hush statue from Prime One Studio. And uh, you know, this statue's been out for a few months now, and a little bit of an issue has come up with this piece. So do you need to be concerned? We're going to go through that. Um, we also did a review of the Superman Hush statue that goes along with this piece. And uh, so we'll answer the question, which one is better, Batman or Superman? And uh, before we get to that, we're going to do an unboxing, assembly, and we'll come back. I'll give you my thoughts on this statue. So let's get started right now. All right, welcome back everyone. So Batman Hosh, you saw a pretty straightforward piece to put together actually. You know, the base is just one big piece. You know, the feet fit in with metal pegs. You got magnets for the hands and the head. No problem there at all. Now sculpted capes sometimes can be a bit of a challenge to get on the statue. I remember for like Mysterio over my shoulder here. I had a real hard time with that one. It was a big pain in the butt. This one went on nice and smooth. I was actually really impressed how easy the statue was to set up. Uh, if you do have problems, assembly guide inside the box. On the flip side of that, you get the packing guide, shows where all the parts go, so always nice to have that. Speaking of parts, you get lots of switch out parts for this piece. Now, this is not my statue, this is my friend Adam's statue, so thanks to him for loaning it for the review. But if it was my statue, I think this is probably how I would display it. Serious face Batman. Classic Batarang in the right hand and just a plain empty clenched fist for the left But you do get some nice options. Uh, let's show you the alternate heads you get This one here. He's got a little bit of a smirk on his face here a more pronounced five o'clock shadow there and um, You know, I don't think of Batman as kind of a smiley Happy dude, so I don't know if this is the one I would use but Hey, in the Hush story, it's got a little bit of a relationship going with Catwoman, so, you know, uh, we'll call this Satisfied Batman. So if it works for you, you get that option, and you get a third option as well. Angry Face Batman 
gritting his teeth, ready to crack some skulls. Uh, so three nice options there for the heads. For the hands, you could swap these out. Go with the rope and grappling hook option. This is actually really cool too. Uh, I'd be tempted to switch them up from time to time between these two displays. And you also get, for the left hand, we'll swap that out, the kryptonite ring. So this is a nice story element here. It does play a role in the Hush storyline. You can imagine what it's for. I won't spoil it for you, but um, I always look at the kryptonite ring. It kind of makes me laugh. I think of the, the final scene of Dumb and Dumber. Um, <laughs> you know, when, when Jeff Daniels got the, the bulletproof vest on, but Jim Carrey kind of looks at him and says, well, yeah, but what if they shot you in the face? And, uh, you know, it's like, hey, great Batman. I'm glad you got the ring, but what if he drops a skyscraper on your head or something like that, right? But for this story and this time, it's believable. It works. Uh, we can go with it. Uh, so nice display options for the piece. Now, what's awesome about this statue? I like the costume. This is my personal favorite Batman costume. I love the blue and gray, but I like the big plain black chest emblem. It's kind of the best of both worlds for me. So this is like my favorite Batman costume and they did a really nice job with it. Nice texturing, got a bit of a Kevlar type texture to the gray areas, uh, leather texture to the blue, uh, looks really, really nice. The wrinkles and folds give that real fabric appearance, but it is fully sculpted. So great job there. Um, the portraits, uh, it's the Jim Lee style. And you know, if you haven't read Hush, it's got some of the best artwork around. It's all done by Jim Lee, as I said, and collectors really uh, kind of resonate with that style. Um, but really, when you look closely like at the faces that he draws, um, there's not a ton of detail there. So I, I imagine it would be a bit of a challenge translating it to 3D, especially for a Prime 1 statue where you got so much finite detail in the statue. But I think they did a really nice job. And this piece was done by Rodrigue Pralier. Um, I hope I'm saying that name right. I have no idea, really. Uh, so I apologize if I got that wrong. But he also did the Superman piece. So a lot of consistency and style between those two pieces, which really works well. Big, bulky, muscular, heroic build, same as Superman had, very much in line with the Jim Lee style. The portraits, I really get the Jim Lee feel from. So great job with that there. Um, so paint on this piece, pretty nicely done. Nothing to complain about. Pretty tight, clean, factory paint job on the statue. The skin, uh, it's got that translucent resin used for the skin, so it gives that little bit of a more realistic effect there. So nice job there as well. Now, let's move on to the cape. The cape, first of all, looks awesome. I, I love this cape. Um, this for me is, you know, when I say I like a, a sculpted cape better than a fabric cape, this is what I'm thinking of. I like the artist to shape it for me and look at the flow here, the waves, the wrinkles in this cape. It looks fantastic. It's huge uh, and that kind of therein lies the problem with this statue. I mentioned this has a bit of an issue that's been developing since release and that is leaning. The statue is connected as I mentioned just under the toes and you got all this weight of the cape off to one side. It really wants to pull it make it lean over to the side. So some statues are having problems. Not all of them are going to have problem, uh, but it is a big enough issue that Prime 1 decided to do something about it. They made a little extra pedestal that you can put in the back here under the cape and kind of prop it up. So if you bought the statue directly from them or from one of their distributors like Sideshow, you will get this little extra pedestal. I don't know when, but it is in the works to help support the cape. You know, I wonder if it's going to fit with every piece nicely. You know, parts from different statues don't always fit too well with each other. Like if you get, have ever had a replacement piece come in, sometimes it doesn't always fit with the statue that you have. So we'll see. I hope, really hope it works for people because it would be a nice solution. It's great to see Prime 1 recognizing the problem and doing something about it. Now, should you be concerned? What if you bought this statue secondhand and you don't have access to that pedestal? Um, well, you know, I think that's still fixable. I think you can still do stuff with it. You can go to Home Depot, grab some dowel, some wood dowel, paint it gray, 
and put some back here to prop it up. Uh, I have a little piece of foam kind of stuffed in here between the cape and the base. It kind of props it up as well. Um, so there, it's fixable. I think you could do something with it. Um, you know, you just spent how many dollars on this piece? You want to display it. It looks fantastic. So you got to do what you got to do. You shouldn't have to do it, but you know you can. It's it's doable. It's fixable. So the inevitable question comes up: Batman or Superman? You know, both from the Hush line, both done by the same sculptor, side by side. My eye goes to Superman. He's so big. He's gonna dominate that display. Uh, it's just a really, really eye-catching piece. It makes me kind of wish that they made Batman standing up straight. I think they would have um, went kind of side by side a little bit better. You can see this statue is by no means small, but Superman makes it look small just with this crouching pose. So that might be the one thing I would change about this piece. But overall, really fantastic Batman from Prime 1. I think the whole line's going to look fantastic. There's Poison Ivy and Huntress coming later. Uh, hopefully they continue it on. I mean, you got to do at least the prime villain hush. I mean, that would be an awesome piece to kind of wrap up the line. Uh, so, Batman hush from Prime 1. Great piece. Turned out very well. Despite the issues with the cape, I think it's fixable. Um, so, you know, be aware. But I wouldn't be too, too worried about it. Uh, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, always going to be more coming to the channel. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you guys soon.